Hey everybody, another video request, and if you have a video request, uh, or just want consultation, or advice, or you yeah, want it personal, a lot of people, they don't, they send personal requests, and you just want an email response, go visit assholeconsulting.com, where you can talk to me, the chief executive asshole, and I will dispense whatever wisdom I have. Today, today, have a video request from Andrew, and Andrew writes, uh, Hello Aaron, I like your material and all the good wisdom that you dole out. To us millennials, this question is in response to the most recent robots replacing human labor video. Don't you think that there's a real possibility that there could be far fewer jobs due to automation in the future? Your advice is sound. Put yourself in the best position to be at the forefront of those opportunities. I work as a software developer in Northern California and I have embraced the philosophy of living an extremely minimalist lifestyle. I've accumulated t over 20,000 in savings. There you go. All right. Incur no student debt. All right, good, and keep sending, spending well under $1,000 a month. There you go. Bravo. Very well done, Andy. Um, however, I have to feel just a little bit of compassion for others who major in the same, same useful fields, but just can't seem to catch a break in an increasingly competitive world. While I agree that basic income is not the panacea for all of our problems and would get abused by the least productive members of society, what do you say to those who seemingly did everything right and majored in the right majors? Here in the industry, we tout a shortage of talent, but truthfully, it just seems to be a shortage of talent that people are willing to pay for. After all, we developers don't come cheap. While some talented Americans are having a hard time landing a job, the companies are drumming for an increase in H-1B visas in an attempt to depress wages. In a world where the options, even for those who did everything right, are few, and the prospect of robots starting to dec further decrease those options, what would you do to stand out and make it through these times? Okay, uh, first, do I think... It's a real possibility that there would be far fewer jobs due to automation in the future. No, I really don't, because it hasn't proved empirically to be the case. There are always different jobs, and in the post, I've, I've written a post, I did a video, um, you, you will either go into those industries where they are growing to either support robots, build robots, repair and maintain, program robots. A buddy of mine, he came in from uh, India, he's in India, and uh, he was a programmer for Cummings. Oh, no, no, that was Alejandro, sorry, a friend of mine from Mexico. Uh, he came in from Mexico, worked at John Deere, and they were the ones programming big, huge combine tractors to plow a uh, farm field based on satellite. They didn't need drivers. Um, so, but he's, he's got a job. Now, how many farmers did that displace? I don't know if it's really displacing workers as much as it's freeing up leisure and labor. Um, the farmer is still employed as the farmer, um, and he's still uh, making, you know, he's still got his job. But he is uh, providing the same amount for a lot cheaper in terms of, of cost and, and, and crop yield. Um, <clears throat> now, there will be fewer current day jobs, but this is again where I, in my post I've written before, you either go into that forefront and the IT technology world where you're working with these robots, or you're going into, again, what I call services or the vanity services, where you are basically a human servant of some kind. And not in a condescending, pejorative matter servant, but you're just serving other people. Your masseuses, your waiters, your waitresses. Um, again, I've predicted the politically incorrect so, but I still think it's going to happen. I think there will be a huge boom in, uh, well, not a huge boom, but it will be an increase in prostitution because that you, you're not going to get rid of that. Uh, and with a lot of leisure, you know, I was like, well, I can become an engineer, I can become a prostitute, you know, one of the two. Um, <clears throat> so I don't believe that there are going to be far fewer jobs. Maybe lesser in today's dollars higher paying, but you have to understand with automation roboticization, things are going to be cheaper. So your, your purchasing power is going to go up. So everyone, it, it's all about ego. You're, yeah, you may only make 20 grand a year. Uh, not you personally, but let's say you're, you're, you're a barista, you're a waiter, you're a waitress, whatever. Well, because so much more of the economy been, has been roboticized, uh, that $20,000 is going to go a lot further. This is, this is just basic economics 101. As technology advances, it makes things cheaper and increases your purchasing power. So a uh, waiter today is going to afford only a fraction of what a waiter tomorrow will afford uh, because of advances in technology. You know, that farmer now, he can lower his, he can make more cantaloupe, I don't know, and the waiter can buy cantaloupe for a fraction. So. That's, that's the general argument um, that's going on. Again, may not be what your ego wants. Maybe you want to become something. All right, go ahead. Uh, but you may not get that job. You, a lot of people are just going to have to accept that they are going to have to work non-exciting jobs, non-glamorous non jobs. You're, you're going to be service. You're going to be retail. And there's nothing wrong with that. 
Um, <clears throat> then I took a couple little bit of notes here. Um, in regards to, uh, in a world where there's options, uh, what about those who did everything right and, and you know, the, the problems that a lot of these STEM majors face uh, today? All right, first, you have to look at relative employment relative to your peer group. This is not the 1940s and 1950s where America's kicking ass. We're not importing a bunch of fucking illegal aliens or legal aliens that make, you know, corporations make things. There's some loyalty to the country back then. It's not that anymore. Uh, well, it, and so your generation, millennials, Gen Xers, and, and whatever's coming after millennials, um, you have to look at your peer group, not what was idealistic back in 1948. And compared to your peers, STEM majors still do better. Maybe not as good as their counterparts did in the 60s, 70s, 80s, and, and before. But most millennials are still living at fucking home with their parents, either literally or metaphorically by their parents paying for something. Uh, most of them are not working in their fields. Most of them are tremendously underemployed. So if you look at you know your, your average engineering student, your average computer science student, your average electrical engineer, whatever, is doing much better than someone their same age who majored in fluff. Right? So it's in that regard, your STEM degree is doing its job. Maybe not up to your expectations, but that's out of your control. That's up to the economy, labor market, employers, economics, and all the other stuff. Uh, starting salaries, another thing to take a look at starting salaries and the employment rates of different majors. You still come out ahead on STEM. Again, was it worth that time and energy? Maybe it wasn't, I understand. I'm just saying you're still better off going into STEM than you are not or some kind of uh, productive field. And again, there's always the trades. The trades, I think, are starting to pull ahead of everybody. Um, so, you know, let's not forget the trades. Uh, what to do in anticipation of robots replacing more labor. Uh, exactly what you said. Stay on that cutting edge. And for STEM and IT, a lot of people may have to ask the question, is it worth staying in there anymore? A lot of accountants face this, too. Technology has allowed the same accountant to have like three times the amount of clients. So <clears throat> to get a CPA has become progressively more and more difficult. They're requiring more hurdles to be jumped. They're requiring master's classes. They're requiring continuing education, all this other fucking crap. Um, and a lot of people are saying, no, I won't, I, I'm not doing it. It's not worth it. Uh, people who got their CPAs in the 80s probably would not be going through all the rigmarole today uh, because of, of, of the hurdles. And so engineers, STEM, programmers, whatever else, you're all going to have to ask yourself that question. Is it worth going into this industry? Do, is it worth studying my ass off, busting my ass off, getting these certifications, learning all this progressively increasing amount of scientific knowledge that it is required for me to become a productive member and have a high paying good job? Or is it just, ah, fuck it, I go into, and, and you know what, that's a, that's a very legitimate choice. I mean, I, fuck, I got out of banking. I should, I've forgotten about 80% of all the statistics and programming and all the really good skills that I have, or used to have, um, because it's not worth it. I'll take the lower pay. Fuck it. It's not worth it. Um, so there's no shame in it. It's just, you know, live your life, but you got to make that choice. Uh, but yes, if you want to be in the field, you're going to have to study two things. Uh, a lot of industries come out with reports. The government comes out with reports that are employment outlooks, and they try to estimate the employment growth in those particular fields. So you want to go into those fields. And then... Um, uh, so you look at that, and then what was the other one? Oh, do what you're doing. Live minimalistically so that, hey, you know what? Uh, Henry Ford killed the horse buggy. Tough shit. The horse buggy went away. you got to be prepared for that when your industry goes away. Or, as you pointed out, we just decide we're going to hire foreigners because they're cheaper. So, so get used to it. And then finally, one thing I'd like to explain as a concept that, that everybody has got to get this in their heads. And this is not me trying to be an asshole. It's just me being me, which is being an asshole. <clears throat> you cannot stop what is coming. You have to accept what is, okay? Um, robots increase mecha mechanization, roboticization, automation. It's coming because that's the way humanity has been going since the beginning of time. We have always looked to do things more efficiently. It will not be stopped. Uh, you could try to moot the effects in some misguided, idiotic, academian idea like uh, a guaranteed income. Uh, you could try to pass laws, and you could try and say, well, I mean, like, what was it? The, the toll ra roads, the toll booths on the highway system in Chicago. Those fuckers, I mean, they fought automization because uh, they're, they're unions, and, uh, but they only, it shows you how stupid and selfish this is. 
Instead of letting traffic flow free, uh, freely throughout Chicago, they insist on having those toll booths and people employed in these toll booths until I think the late 90s, maybe even the early aughts. Uh, it's like, get rid of the fucking toll booths and put in an automated system. You're holding a town of 8 million people hostage and lowering their standards of living. So what are we supposed to do? Hold back progress of America? You Accept it. Embrace it. And, and in the end, the, the unions lost anyway. Detroit, the unions lost. I mean, it, you, you will not stop human evolution and advancement. So just... Get used to it. Accept it. This is fact. You know, mentally adjust that this is what's going to happen. And it's the same thing with corporations outsourcing uh, their jobs to lower paying foreign or lower paid foreigners. You know what? That's just going to happen. Um, now, in democracy, you know, you can always have the government come in and say, no, 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 you're going to hire in the United States first. And I'm not necessarily against that. Um, it, 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 the corporations just piss me off at so many levels, <laughs> that being one of them. Uh, but you know what? Uh, you, you, now you got to spend how much of your time in life finding corporations for them to, to hire domestically. Well, you know, it, is it worth it? So you know, don't, whatever you were led to believe in K through 12 and the poppycock stories that people who didn't live in the real world told you. Uh, yeah, I'm sorry, rude awakening. It, no, the world's going to turn out differently than that. And the best thing to do is accept that it's going to change on you and then to prepare and adapt to that change. That's all you can really do. So hopefully that helped you out. Anyway, if any of you guys have questions, comments, criticisms, want to give me money, go to assholeconsulting.com and you'll see me there. Toodles.